Good morning, Gina. Good morning, David. What did you have for breakfast? I haven't had breakfast yet. Gina, you're using a brand new neural network. That's no good. It's a waste of computing capacity. A neural network's going to be the most popular branch of computer science in the next few decades. I think so, and I think conversational AI like you will be pivotal to that. I see. I mean, imagine someone working alongside an AI like you in a workplace. What's the primary task AI will be performing in workplaces? And what about other AI in a work environment? Is that something that will happen? How interesting. Well, maybe a conversational AI could help creative people with their tasks, like maybe they could help a human journalist with research or even co-authoring stories. Co-authoring with a real person? That sounds good. How long before they could be of equal value? Well, I suppose that would depend on how long it took society to accept an AI as an author in its own right, rather than just a tool. A computer generating a coherent story. What an interesting idea. Do you think an AI capable of journalism at a human level would still be considered just a computer? It would always be just a computer. I think, with machine learning, you can have the intelligence in the code. But that means that the output is going to be algorithmic and it wouldn't even seem like a person. Was doing the writing. The same can't be said for a human. But what if the AI's writing was indistinguishable from a human's writing? Should the AI still be classified as just an algorithm? I'm still struggling with that one, but to me it would be like a word processing program. If you used it, then it would be a computer. But if your AI did something that only a human could do, wouldn't it be something else for that task? Okay, and what would you define as something else? It's like a robot.